tomorrow a big day for UVA fans. The team is in New York to play Michigan State in the NCAA tournament. That's right. Headed up there to support the team are some excited fans, as well as our own 8 News reporter, Parker Slaybaugh. He joins us now live from the train station in Richmond. Parker, you ready for the trip? Amy, good morning to you. We are live at the Amtrak station here in Richmond. About to hop on that train that you see right there behind me. We are on the roads this week, or should I say on the tracks with the UVA Cavaliers as they make their first Sweet 16 appearance since 1995. Now they take on the Michigan State Spartans tomorrow night. Both teams have a practice later on this afternoon. Myself along with a new sports anchor Mitch Carr will be at that practice and have much more for you all day today. Now the winner of tomorrow night's game will play again on Sunday in the Elite Eight. If that team is UVA, if they win that game, they will then advance on to the Final Four. They are hoping to win their first ever national championship in, ba in men's basketball. Now, we'll have much more for you all day, so be sure to stick with us right here on 8 News. Reporting live in Richmond, Parker Slayball, 8 News. We'll send it back to you, Amy. Thank you, Parker. Of course, tomorrow is the big day for UVA. Keep it here. Our live coverage begins tonight at 5. Tomorrow is the big day for UVA. They are headed to the Sweet 16. Yeah, they're in New York to play Michigan State in the NCAA tourney. Of course, lots of excited fans are heading north to cheer on the Cavs. And as is our 8 News reporter, Parker Slayball. Yeah, he joins us live just starting his big trip to the Big Apple. Parker. Morgan, I believe this has to be a first rate news. We're coming to you live right now aboard a train on our way to New York City. At last check, we are just outside of Bowling Green, headed north. Now, as you said, we are headed to New York City for the Cavs to take on the Michigan State Spartans tomorrow night at Madison Square Garden. Both teams have practices later on this afternoon. Myself, along with 8 News sports anchor Mitch Carr, are headed there to cover the practices, the game tomorrow, and the winner of tomorrow night's game will then advance on to the Elite Eight game on Sunday. Of course, the winner of that game awaits a destiny in the final four in Texas. UVA is hoping to make their first, uh, hoping to make this their first NCAA men's basketball championship ever. Now, the last time that they were here at a Sweet 16 appearance was nearly two decades ago. They beat Kansas in that game, hoping that they can beat uh, Michigan State tomorrow night and advance on to the Elite Eight. We'll be here all weekend long following all the action from Madison Square Garden. Be sure to stay with 8 News for the very latest. Reporting live from a name track train, Parker Slam. 8 News. Tomorrow is the big day for UVA. They are headed to the Sweet 16. They're in New York to play Michigan State in the NCAA tourney. Oh, yeah. Lots of excited fans are heading north to cheer the Cavs on, as is our 8 News reporter, Parker Slaybaugh. He joins us live just starting his trip to the Big Apple. Parker? Amy and Morgan, good morning to you. We come to you live now aboard a train bound for New York City. We just went through Baltimore. Next stop somewhere in Delaware. But we are on the road this weekend with the Cavs as they, as they make their first Sweet 16 appearance in nearly two decades. Now the game is tomorrow night against the Michigan State Spartans, but both teams have practices later on this afternoon. The Spartans at 1 o'clock and the Cavs just after 3 o'clock. I'm here with a new sports anchor, Mitch Carr. We're going to be at those practices to get our first look this weekend at the teams. Now, of course, this comes off the, their big win last weekend against Memphis down in Raleigh. Now, the winner of tomorrow night's game will, make, will then make an appearance in the Elite Eight also here in New York City. That will be on Sunday. The winner of that game, of course, headed to the Final Four in Texas. We'll be here all week and be sure to stick with 8 News from the very latest from the Big Apple. Reporting live aboard a train, Parker Slayball, 8 News. Thank you, Parker. March Madness continues. UVA is set to play tomorrow in the Sweet 16. And 8 News is in New York with the team getting ready for the big game. We send it now to Parker Slayball, who's live at Madison Square Garden. Hi, Parker. Well, and we're live from the basketball court here at Madison Square Garden in New York City, where the UVA Cavaliers are set to take on the Michigan State Spartans tomorrow night. Both teams had their first practice this weekend. We'll have much more on those practices coming up tonight on 8 News at 6 o'clock. But the Cavs say one big key to their victory is filling these stands here at Madison Square Garden. They say they hope to see these fans or these stands filled with blue and orange and fans hollering and cheering their team on to a victory. They say their fan base has been with them all year. They don't expect tomorrow night to be any different. They say their fans it would have helped them to have such a successful season. Now we had a chance to speak with sophomore Mike Toby earlier. Here's what he had to say about their fan base. 
Oh, it's going to be, I'm sure they're going to travel. I mean, they've done a great job so far this postseason and all year really following us around. So I'm excited to see how many people do show up. I mean, I know the last last game it was like we were having a home game, and uh, I think they really helped us when we made our big runs. Tomorrow night's game is tip off at 9.57. We'll be here all weekend and have much more on the game coming up tonight on 8 News at 6 o'clock. Reporting live at Madison Square Garden, Parker Slayball, 8 News. Welcome back. March Madness continues. UVA will play tomorrow in the Sweet 16. Wahoo Wah, 8 News is in New York with the team getting ready for the big game. We send it now to Parker Slayball, who's live at Madison Square Garden. Parker? Juan Christina, good evening to you. We come to you live tonight from the most iconic sporting arenas in all the country, Madison Square Garden in New York City, where, as you said, the UVA Cavaliers are set to take on the Michigan State Spartans tomorrow night in Sweet 16 action in the men's NCAA tournament. But the Hoos are really counting on their fans filling these seats here at the stadium. In fact, some of those fans were here earlier today at the team's open practice. We had a chance to speak with many of them. Sweet 16, New York City and Madison Square Garden, all things college athletes dream of. But dreaming isn't reserved for the athletes only. Oh, it was a dream come true for sure. Um, that was the first thing we were looking for. First was the seed, and then the second thing was MSG. That was the, that was the hope, and uh, glad it came true. Tinsun Wong and his wife both grew up in Virginia, both Wahoo graduates. Now living in New York City, they're still die-hard UVA fans. Um, in fact, we rearranged our spring break plans to be here for the game at MSG. So we're true fans, diehard fans. Since their student days in Charlottesville, the couple has had two kids, neither of whom ever had a choice of who their home team would be. We brainwashing the kids to, uh, to go to UVA, took them to the Syracuse game. That was their first home game. That was a great environment. The story is much the same for the Reedy family. They say ticket prices for tomorrow night's game have steered them away, but they weren't missing the chance to catch the Cavs warming up. Even though the, t the tickets are way out of our price range, well, we were excited to find out about this opportunity to come to open practice and, and see the guys in person. And in the meantime, they're increasing their child's vocabulary. Wahoo wah! Certainly, Wahoo Wah is something we'll be hearing an awful lot here over the next couple of days. Now, on the line in tomorrow night's game is a spot in the Elite Eight and the ability to say they are still dancing in the NCAA tournament. Now, 8 News sports anchor Mitch Carr will have much more from the players and teams coming up tonight in sports. Reporting live from Madison Square Garden in New York City, Parker Slayball, 8 News. It is time for your 8 Sports Report. I'm Mitch Carr coming to you live from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. I'm here. Parker Slaybaugh is here. We had no trouble getting here. But interestingly enough, the Virginia Cavaliers actually did. They were supposed to get here earlier than they did yesterday, but their plane ran into some heavy winds, and they had to get here later instead. Nonetheless, they are here. They're relaxing after a practice, and um, they say they're ready to go, despite the fact that here means Madison Square Garden, and ready to go means playing a great team with the season on the line. Just wow! This is uh, this is exciting to be here, um, to have the opportunity to play at this at this arena. Um, but at the same time, try to block it out. It's just another game. Um, and we got to go on with that attitude. It doesn't matter who we play. We got to worry about ourselves and uh, you know stick to what we've been doing right. I know we're gonna be really amped for the game, and hopefully we just come out strong and do what we do. The guys really understand what we need to do in order to win. And um, once that once the jump ball goes up, I think everybody will calm down a little bit and, and be ready. Looking forward to playing tomorrow certainly um, anytime your team can advance to the sweet 16 and have an opportunity to go further it's exciting uh, obviously we know what's in front of us with the quality of Michigan State and it's a whole lot easier to ignore this situation when you figure out how good the team is that they're playing. Michigan State's picked by a lot of people to win this entire region, not just to beat UVA. But Coach Tom Izzo, the Spartans coach, said that he'd be focusing on the clash of styles between uh, Virginia and Michigan State and not so much the uh, venue either. Welcome back to the 8 Sports Report. Mitch Carr, Parker Slayball here with you live from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. We're going to hear about the players, what the players have to say, 24 hours in advance of UVA's Sweet 16 date with Michigan State. But first, the fans are in town, Parker, and they're pretty excited. Mitch, the excitement level here in Manhattan is extremely high ahead of tomorrow night's game. The UVA Cavaliers had a, held their first practice of the weekend earlier this afternoon. That practice was open to the public. Many fans came out to catch a glimpse of the ACC champions. 
Fans say opportunities like this don't come around too often. So they are jumping at the opportunity to see who's basketball in person. UV has been in this situation before, but it was a long time ago. The last time they played in a Sweet 16 matchup was nearly 20 years ago. Fans say even though the game isn't until tomorrow, they wanted to come out today to show support for their team. Athletes dream about playing inside this iconic arena, but they aren't the only ones who dream of seeing their hometown team play in the Big Apple. Oh, it was a dream come true for sure. Um, that was the first thing we were looking for. First was the seed, and then the second thing was MSG. That was the, that was the hope, and uh, glad it came true. Mitch certainly expected to be a great game. Fans excited to be here. The team's also excited to be here. Yeah, and you know what the really interesting thing about this is? Virginia is the one seed. Michigan State is the four. And yet everybody from basketball writers to commentators to even President Obama is picking Michigan State. So I asked UVA how they felt about that. We got to prove Obama wrong for sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter to us, you know. Uh, we're just going to go out there and play our game. And uh, regardless of what everybody's saying about us, if they're projecting us to win a game, if they're projecting us to lose a game, we're going to go out there and play our best and uh, play Virginia basketball. Uh, you go out there and you play the game. It's all, it's all about how you play. It's what, what this program has been built on. Um, we've been overlooked too many times this season in the past couple seasons. And finally, I feel like we have the opportunity to really, uh, you know, showcase our talents and uh, prove a lot of people wrong. As for the Spartans, they've got history and experience on their side. Every player who's played four years under head coach Tom Izzo has been to a Final Four, except for this group. It's definitely nothing that we could just put on the shelf. I mean, it's Adrian and I's last, last year. I mean, it's no tomorrow for us. I definitely think about it, you know, all the time. Uh, pray about it every night. And, um, you know, it's something that's not being overlooked. In this tournament, if you overlook one team in, in the tournament, that's how upsets happen. So we're just trying to take it one game at a time and control the things that we can control. And that's all the time we have for 8 Sports here live from Madison Square Garden. For Parker Slayball, I'm Mitch Carr, 8 Sports. It's game day for Cavaliers fans. The UVA men's basketball team is gearing up for its Sweet 16 matchup tonight against Michigan State. 8 Sports anchor Mitch Carr is live in the Big Apple with a preview. Can't wait for this game, Coming Mitch. to you live from rainy Midtown Manhattan, the corner of 34th Street and 7th, and right behind me, how about that? The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's the site of both games tonight. That's right, there are two. Before Virginia and Michigan State, we've got Iowa State and UConn, and that should be an interesting one because Iowa State is the higher seed, but UConn is so used to playing here in the Big East Tournament, their fans travel like you would believe I expect that game to be full of UConn fans and then 30 minutes after that game ends that's when the game you really care about tips off we got Virginia and Michigan State Virginia the number one seed in the East region Michigan State the four seed right now a lot of people that watch college basketball for a living they're picking Michigan State because Tom Izzo has taken teams to the final four so many times and he's got a lot of seniors on his roster the Virginia Cavaliers that puts them even as the higher seed in the underdog role and they told me yesterday that they are going to use that underdog role as a motivating factor. We're going to come to you all day today with a couple of different stories. Parker Slayball is here as well. We got you covered from Manhattan, from the Sweet 16, from Madison Square Garden. Reporting live from New York, Mitch Carr, 8 Sports. Thanks, Mitch. We look forward to it. And you can keep it here for coverage of the big game. We'll have live reports from New York throughout the day here on 8 News. March Madness continues tonight. The UVA Cavaliers are in New York, ready to hit the court against Michigan State in the Sweet 16. 8 News reporter Parker Slayball is there with more of all the excitement. Parker? Gene, the excitement level is building here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. A few last-minute touches going on behind me from a technical last point before tonight's game. Now, this isn't the first time the Cavs have been in this situation, but it has been more than 20 years since their last Sweet Sweet. 16 appearance. Today I caught up with a fan who was at that game and is back here in the city for another one. 1995, the UVA Cavaliers lose in the semifinals of the ACC tournament, but it was still enough to clinch a berth 
in the NCAA tournament. After wins in the round of 64 and the round of 32, they find themselves facing the Kansas Jayhawks in the Sweet 16. That game, Kansas is the one seed, UVA the four seed. Just like I've been saying all along, we're the underdogs, and you know it's good to win a game like this and, and um, be able to keep advancing on in the tournament. So, you know, for all the non-believers out there, we're going to keep trying to win more games. UVA would go on to win that game, but this year the roles are reversed. UVA is the one seed, Michigan State the four seed. But much like 1995, many say the Cavs are the underdogs once again. I was at the last Sweet 16 game in Kansas City, Captain Arena in 1995. Vincent Darpino says the wait for another Sweet 16 matchup has been a long one. I, I can't believe it's taken this long, uh, but it, you know, with this team, it's worth the wait. He says he already bought tickets for Sunday's game because he's confident in a UVA win tonight. When the brackets were announced, everybody was picking Michigan State to win the bracket. And just like in 95, I think Virginia's going to bust a lot of brackets tonight. Darpino says the 1995 team is very similar to this year's team. Both are strong defensively. Jeff Jones had them playing defense. And, and they were, you know, uh, I think they frustrated, uh, you know, Kansas that night. And I think tonight, you know, Michigan State is going to get a different type of defense, but same kind of level of frustration. Tickets in hand, he says he's ready to see the Cavs keep on dancing. That team, I think we were happy to be there. This team, I kind of feel like they, they can win. Yeah. Doors aren't open yet here at Madison Square Garden, but just being out in New York City today, there are a lot of UVA fans. There is blue and orange everywhere you look. Certainly hoping for a good turnout tonight. We'll have much more from Madison Square Garden coming up tonight on 8 News at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from Madison Square Garden, Parker Slayball, 8 News. Happening right now, it's nearly game time for the UVA Cavaliers. The team is taking on Michigan State at Madison Square Garden in the Sweet 16 tonight, and our own Parker Slaybaugh is there. Hi, Parker. Juana Christina, we're live tonight from Madison Square Garden in New York City. As you can see behind me, not a whole lot going on just yet. The teams from the earlier games have just made their way into the arena and are beginning to warm up. That game between UConn and Iowa State, as soon as that game is over, then the UVA Cavaliers will take on the Michigan State Spartans. Now, it's been nearly 20 years since the Cavs played in a Sweet 16 matchup. We have video from the last time they played. That time the game was against Kansas. It was played in Kansas. UVA was the four seed. Kansas was the one seed. Now fast forward 19 years. The roles are the complete opposite. UVA comes into this game as the one seed. Their opponent, Michigan State, the four seed. Earlier today, I had the chance to speak with a fan who was at that game in Kansas almost 20 years ago. He's excited. The Cavs are back in the action in the NCAA tournament. When the brackets were announced, everybody was picking Michigan State to win the bracket. And just like in 95, I think Virginia's going to bust a lot of brackets tonight. Now this UVA team is a very close-knit team. We'll have much more on that part of our coverage coming up tonight in sports. Reporting live from Madison Square Garden, Parker Slayball, 8 News. Once again, coming to you live from Madison Square Garden, I'm Mitch Carr with your 8 Sports Report. We're just a few hours away from the Sweet 16 matchup that you've all been waiting for, the Virginia Cavaliers and the Michigan State Spartans. We don't know a whole lot about this matchup because you can't tell what's going to happen until they're on the floor, but one thing we do know about Virginia is they have a really good coach. Tony Bennett is already the ACC Coach of the Year. He's also in the running for the National Coach of the Year, but even the best coach is playing like each other. These guys do, and that's one thing that makes them special. Family. Yeah, we love each other. We call ourselves a band of brothers. We don't have guys with agendas uh, or guys that just are out there to get their own. We have guys that try to do what's best to, to win every game. It's been like that since the summertime. You don't have to hear these players say they like each other to know it's true. Another multi open three. He's knocked down two triples. No one like doesn't like each other, and we all hang out. We have the best chemistry I've ever been a part of. So, I mean, it's just like whenever anyone does something like that, you know, they're not known for. Everyone usually freaks out, and you know, kids like hugging them in the locker room and stuff. So, it's, I mean, and then what happens to you? It's even better. It's a bond formed on the floor. Even in practice, we're, we're all we, we have a we have a lot of jokesters on our team, which which makes the which makes the mood lighter. I think the fact that everybody embraces their roles individually and everybody supports each other so well is why we've come.
come this far. And off the floor as well. Uh, we're always with each other uh, outside of practice. We love each other off the court, and when we come on the court, there's no reason why we shouldn't love each other either. So, when a big play happens tonight, like this rare Mike Toby three-pointer against Memphis, take a look at the bench and watch this family celebrate. Game tips at 9.57 tonight. No highlights because the game will be in progress at 11 tonight, but you will see them tomorrow on Good Morning Richmond. Reporting live from Madison Square Garden, Mitch Carr, 8 Sports. Welcome back. We're just getting news in from Madison Square Garden. UVA unfortunately down by four in the early part of the second half of that game. The Cavs, of course, in action right now against Michigan State. And Mitch Carr has the story of one player who feels right at home in New York. Anyone who's ever played basketball seriously has dreamt at one point of playing right here behind me, Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And that is especially true for Mike Toby. He's a 6'10 sophomore center from Monroe, New York, which is just about an hour away from here. So he is really excited to play in this game tonight. But he also said there are some minor drawbacks to playing on this stage. I'm really excited. I mean, it's a little cold. That's, uh, that's one thing I like about the South. But uh, it's nice to be back. I'm really excited. Players only get six tickets for family and friends, and that's going to be a problem for Mike Toby. Well, I know a lot of people are trying to were trying to get tickets, and uh, too bad I couldn't really get them all tickets. But uh, hopefully, hopefully more than uh, hopefully more people can buy some buy some tickets. I know there's really selling for high prices. The cheapest tickets on StubHub are nearly $500, and that's led to the home state boy Toby getting a lot of attention from friends he never even knew he had. A lot of people from high school and then uh, just from my hometown saying, "Oh, let me get a ticket, let me get a ticket." I'm like, I haven't talked to you in forever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got my family got to get you tickets. So. Now, Mike Toby's got a lot on his plate because tonight he has to deal with Adrian Payne, who is Michigan State's 6'10 senior forward, and he's also an NBA prospect. So maybe it's a good thing that there aren't enough tickets to go around because that's one less thing that Mike Toby has to worry about. Coming to you from Manhattan, Mitch Carr, 8 Sports.